I'm Sarah Heron, and I'm here to talk to you about how our bodies shouldn't define our abilities. Hey guys, it's Kirby. Welcome back to Pretty Unfiltered. Today's guest is Sarah Heron. You might know her from The Bachelor season 17 and her organization, She Lift, which we'll get into later. But Sarah was born with one arm and today she's gonna talk to us about how she doesn't let that limit her abilities. Did you have a lot of self-confidence growing up? I just struggled to really like figure out who I was, I think. I wanted to be identified as anyone except the girl with one arm. But um, I don't think my confidence issues really set in until I was maybe towards my last few years of high school. I started becoming more self-aware and a little bit more, um, you know, just had a little bit more self-esteem issues. Like what? I had a hard time feeling like I fit in and finding my identity. I had a hard time meeting boys, which is such a big deal to girls in high school. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about The Bachelor. Yeah. What was that road like? How did you even get involved? And were you a little bit fearful or nervous about going on the show? Um, the Bachelor was the best experience of my life. Before I went on The Bachelor, that's when I was really struggling with my confidence and okay. self-esteem issues. And that's sort of the whole reason I went on, because I figured if I could face my fears and go on this national television <laughs> show and talk about my vulnerabilities and tell my story, I would never have to do it again. What a way to face your fears, like you just said, national television waltzing yeah. into a house not knowing anybody. Yeah, it really changed my life and it was so transformative. Coming out of the show, I started getting a lot of support from girls that were watching and um, I got messages and fan mail from girls just saying, you know, thank you for being someone I can finally relate to on that show. You were saying kind of that's how you got into wanting to create She Lift, right? Yeah. To empower these women and let them know that they're not alone. Yeah. Um, but you kind of found that through athleticism, yes. right? I discovered that after I came off The Bachelor um, and girls were wanting to see more and more stories of my life, um, I wanted to give them inspiration that if I'm capable of doing things I didn't previously know I was able to do, that they were capable also. So I kind of took it as a personal challenge to push my physical limits and just see what I was able to do. Yeah. So I started hiking, I took up skiing, and what I discovered was that like with every mountain I summited and every you know ski run I came down, um, I got more confident. And what I loved about it is that was a totally authentic confidence that was inspired by my own doing. It, it wasn't coming from anyone's compliments, it wasn't coming from anyone's approval or affirmations of me, it was totally 100% on my own. And so I wanted other girls to experience that too. Yeah. So tell us about She Lift and what it's all about because it yeah. is such a special organization. So She Lift is a, a nonprofit organization that I launched just a couple months ago. And the goal of it is to empower girls to overcome obstacles. And that can speak to girls with physical disabilities or not. Mm -hmm. Really, it's centered in the idea that all women have a mountain to climb and we all have our thing that we need to overcome, but we can do it with the right tools and mentorship and experiences. So I wanted to design a program that took girls on adventures with mentors that helped them discover their personal um, worth and physical ability in order to help them you know, find a little bit more confidence. Okay, Sarah, so tell everyone where they can go to learn more about SheLift. You can learn more about SheLift at SheLift.org or on Instagram at SheLiftGrams. Yay! All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Sarah, you were an amazing guest. Thanks. And I'm so glad we finally got you on the show. Thank you for having I've me. I've been looking forward. I we know. bumped into each other in New York. It was, it was so like, crazy. Yeah, I'm like, this is crazy. This is finally happening. So, I know. Um, guys, let me know in the comment section below your favorite part of this interview, who you want to see coming up next. We always take your suggestions and make those happen. So uh, keep us posted. And topics that you want us to cover, everything you can dream of, we can handle so let me know in the comment <laughs> section below uh, and be sure to subscribe to pop sugar girls guide so you can get more updates on pretty unfiltered and uh, as always you can find me on instagram and twitter at kirby johnson and on snapchat kirby.johnson for all the behind the scenes access so i'll see you next time bye bye